string theory is like the theory that uh, everything's connected oh, okay. through energy. Everything is energy, vibrating in little strings. Right. So it's just the philosophy that, that, that everything is everything's energy, right? Everything is a string, or everything's a piece of energy vibrating in a string, and that makes up all of matter. I guess, I don't know, maybe. So is that electrons, you mean? Um, no, I think it's smaller than electrons. I think the electrons themselves are actually the, the smallest, smallest, smallest thing that you could possibly get down to is, is energy. And it's that energy that is, that is uh, vibrating in, in, in such a way that it makes up everything else. And everything else is built off of that. So why not perfect every time? Why not perfect every time? Uh, maybe it is perfect every time, and we just can't figure that out. You know, we're just we're just trying to develop our uh, our understanding of things to the point where maybe eventually we'll be smart enough, and we'll have done enough research and done enough experimentation that everything is actually very perfect. But we're just not able to see it yet. You know, sort of like just the way that human perception. You know, the things that I see, the things that make up my reality, might not look the same to you. You know, I might be seeing things in a whole different way or the way that a bee sees reality. The bee is seeing reality based on, you know, maybe infrared light or microwaves. You know, my perception is so small and so narrow that how can I really understand the larger, uh, the larger idea of what is actually happening and what's, uh, what is the nature of the universe? Mathematics. Mathematics, yeah, but even mathema even the human brain, I think, is very limited in what it can understand and how, how it can use mathematics to explain what's happening in, in, in the world. Because we're, really, we're limited at this point by, by, by our imaginations and by what we can understand and what we can comprehend. Because that's what I see the universe as, sort of on its way to becoming more and more and more complex. And that final complexity is where I see, you know, where I see God being. There's this thing that is infinitely complex, and that's sort of the way the universe is on its way. We're getting more and more and more and more complex. I'm worried that something's going to happen, and it's going to destroy it all, and all of that knowledge and all of that, that wisdom might be taken away, and, you know, we'll have to start back at zero. Have you ever done LSD? Oh, fuck yeah, I've done LSD. <laughs> I've done pretty much everything you can uh, possibly imagine. It's uh, great, kind yeah. of. Well, you know, you got to experiment, you got to like play around with what is, uh, what is reality. And I'm a big, I'm, I'm very interested in what, what I think reality is and what it is to me. But I know that I know for sure that I see the world in a completely different way, physically and spiritually and emotionally than, than most other people. Like I notice, for example, I'm a huge plant lover. I notice plants more than anything. I notice the energy of plants and I can't put that in specifically into words. But do you think you understand string theory better as a result of taking LSD? Um, I think I can wrap my head around it a little bit better.